Hey everyone, so a quick video on body skipping. Um, body skipping is a technique slash strat that we do in Pandora Tomorrow to make the game not care about any of the unhidden bodies that we leave behind during the run. And the problem with not doing body skipping is that some levels are on a one alarm limit, like for example, LAX. You cannot trigger any alarms because this will immediately fail the mission. And normally the game periodically checks for these bodies and if it finds any that are not hidden in the darkness, um, you will get an alarm. Now, the way we skip those bodies, the way we do body skipping is the same way we'd skip dialogues, but the logic is a little bit different. Uh, so as soon as you have any of the bodies that, that are knocked out that you want to body skip, um, you just do a quick save, quick load. And for some reason, the game deloads those bodies from the internal memory for, or something like that. that. That's just my theory, at least. And maybe it's just to make, you know, additional space for the new quick save that, that, that just got made. The game just forgets about those bodies and it just doesn't give you an alarm, which is great for us speedrunners because that's exactly what we want. Now, you don't have to do this after every single body that you knock out. There are specific spots in the speedrun where we do that the least amount of times possible. And in my tutorial series, I will always tell you when I do a body skip. So you can always know what are those spots and that you don't need to do anymore. And as an example, I'm going to show you off uh, LAX where we do two actually body skips right at the beginning. And I'm gonna first of all show you what happens if you don't do it, and then I'm going to show you what happens if you do. So, yeah. So first of all, as I said, I'm going to demonstrate the no body skip version of LAX. As you can see, we're already in the parking lot, and the first thing we do here is we shoot one of the terrorists here. And I'm gonna make no effort to hide this body at all. And on top of that, I'm also going to knock out this cleaning lady and zap that security guard. And normally in the run, we would make a body skip right here, but I didn't. And that's uh, on purpose, of course. And uh, I'm going to do even more stuff here. So, let me just knock out this guy. Knock. There we go. So now the game is going to yell at me here for not hiding the body. And that is because I did not do a body skip. Alright, now I'm going to show you what's going to happen if I actually do the body skips. And as you can see, I'm again in the parking lot. Same thing, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to shoot this terrorist here. I'm going to deal with the dog. I'm going to then proceed to knock out this cleaning lady here. And I'm going to zap that guard, just like that. And as I said, normally we do a body skip at this door here. So quick save, quick load. And all of this just deloaded all of the bodies that I previously dealt with. So they're not going to get found. And I can proceed further. And as you can see, I'm not going to get an alarm. I'm going to actually complete this entire... If I can... Yeah, okay, I dealt with that. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, I dealt with these guards. And as you can see, they're not hidden. So I'm going to do another quick save, quick load. And I'm not get, gonna get an alarm here as well. And now I can proceed further, have no issues, and just be on my way. So hopefully that'll help you to learn body skipping and have fun speedrunning.